Uganda Air Force ni Uganda Airline ya kupepa watu kawaida na yeye aliamua tu wacha aende kawaida na watu yake na akaenda na mtu mmoja ambaye ni Vice President wa huko kwa hivyo hii ni kitu ilikuwa imepangwa Mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwingine Kenyatta akileta kombre mimi sijui kwa nini mnaleta kombre na baba mnasema amenyimwa ndege na yeye mwenyewe ajaongea na sisi tunaona ile mambo iko kuna mahali Mr. Speaker kuna mahali dakika yangu moja ningeongea kitu kingine iko na shida kidogo ile kwenye rocha ile maana ya didi nyoro na hii kijana nyingine ya mlima wani mimi nitalimalizia hapo mimi nasema mambo ya didi nyoro na kijana anaitwa Mwina Njenga ile ni game imechorwa na mheshimiwa William Ruto Ndili nyona natoka wapi? Natoka Kiaru. Hapo ndiyo kuna ile kitu inaitwa anga deep state mahali iko. Matajiri wote ya Kenya wanakaanga hapo. Sasa ameona chimi wa njigi amekucha kaungana na Raila. Sasa na yeye lazima atafute achukue ndini yara mwambie kucha uingie hapo kuasimia usikie chimi wa njigi anataka kutoa pesa tena ya kuleta maandamano hapo. Sasa nani ametumu hapo? Ndili nyona amekucha kurekebisha maneno hapo. Gashabu hakuna mahali anaenda mpaka 2027 ndiye deputy president. Gashabu amefanya kazi na Moi amefanya kazi na Kibaki, amefanya kazi na Uhuru. Saa hii anafanya na nani? Mtakuja kumtoa dini. Mtu mwenye amefanya na hizo serikali sote hako hapo ndani. Kwa ni nataka kusema kuwa nyinyi mko na ujanja sana kuliko mheshimiwa Rigati Gashagwa. Rigati Gashagwa ni chuma ya samani na ni mtu anaelewa ile kitu inafanyika hapo ndani ya serikali. Alisema yeye ndiye anaelewa mambo ya deep state. Nyinyi hakuna kitu mnajua kuhusu deep state na alisema hivyo. Sijana mmeona Moses Kuria ameenda mpaka kwa Raila nyumbani. Kuna kitu ruda natengeneza nyinyi ya muoni. Mbona mbona kuli ameenda mpaka huko akakaribishwa kwa Cheramoge Wingo Dinga na akaambiwa hata leo uendi utarara hapo. Hii ni game imechoro na hii serikali iko. Lazima tutoe watu wetu waingie kwa upinzani watuletee ile maneno iko kwa upinzani. Iko namna hiyo. Hakuna information mimi naomba tafadhali sababu saa hii muda yangu imepimwa. Mambo ya kuzungua mimi ni maswali hiyo mtawacha. Sababu tumekuja kuongea mambo ya serikali hapo. Tukubaliane na tuongee kitu moja. Siko namna hiyo. So ile kitu iko nyinyi mnakuja na propaganda mnasema mara hii serikali iko. Ile kitu iko. Serikali mkijaribu upinzani kijaribu kupinga serikali na serikali tutatumia watu yetu kuingia kwa upinzani kumwaliza hiyo upinzani. Sababu tumeona hiyo biashara hiyo iko. Hadi tafadhali. Yes. Wangapi wako na maswali? Muinue mikono. Uliza maswali yote. Ngoja junior, wenye wameinua mikono nataka mbao 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 tunue beti. Ndio hiyo sasa. Correction inakuja na mbao. Siapo iko sawa? Iko sawa kabisa. Hii beti imeisha moto na mheshimiwa anakuja. Wacha nitoe mbao yangu. Mimi nimeinua mikono wote. Mbao 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 tunua beti. Wacha nichukue hiyo pesa. Toa haraka. Steve ako wapi? Steve ako wapi? Sasa mbao inakaa kama hii. Eh. Awaoni mbao inakaa aje. Waoneshe. Inakaa hii. Mkono wote wa kupemba. Watoe mbao. Yes. Angalia vile mnanipatia hii time sasa. Nafikiri kwa heshima kubwa kama bungeli Mr. Speaker ingelikuwa vyema vyema hata kama memba mmoja anatoa shilingi 5 au magumi beti ziendee mara moja Mr. Speaker. Usidhulumu wale wabunge ambao wameinua mkono juu siko watu wao ndio watoe peke yao. Sio hivyo wanainua sana. Lazima watoe kitu. <laughs> Tunaona kama una unaanza una, kuendeza hii kikao kwa mapendeleo. <laughs> The deputy speaker when you are reading the motions wakati ulikuwa tunachagua motions ulisema ya kwamba hatuwezi kujadili kitu ambayo iko nje ya the motion that we are discussing right right now now that we are moving from the motion that we have already passed and we are bringing it on if the member was not in the house then hapo ingepitwa hivyo imetosha ama bado ana, another another thing mr speaker kama dakika ni tatu iwe ni tatu kwa kila mtu kama ni tatu ni tatu kwa kila mtu tafadhali ili tu tu affair i don't know whether to mr speaker nafikiri wajumbe wa UDA hapa ni wachache sana tungependa tuwapatie muda wao kujielezea hii bunge ingekuwa ya kwamba majority pande hii minority pande hii ungeona mr speaker tofauti mahali penyiko Hao watu wa serikali tukipenda tuwapatie muda watuambie vile serikali inaendeshwa vile inaendeshwa. Na honorable member Mr. Junior, Mr. Speaker sana kwa makubwa, alikuwa kwa standing order nzuri sana. Akasema ya kwamba wanajaribu kutuma honorable members kwa chama chetu cha azimio ama chama chenu cha azimio kuleta information. Ako standing order kamili kabisa Mr. Speaker. Hakuna ajaenda nje ya motion. Ameenda nje ya motion.
is a speaker right now, the motion on the floor was the issue of Uru Kenyatta taking the, the flag from Entebbe to DRC. It was not about the Mount Kenya again. Now that the issue of Mount Kenya coming in here, does it make sense? Hapo sawa, hapo sawa, tumemaliza yu piyashara. Unajua, wabonge, inafaa tukubali kitu moja. Na watu wa zirikali ni watu wachache sana. Ndiyo maana wana ongezea dakamo. Watu wa zimio ni wengi, koja kwanza amisi. Na watu ni wachache, ok, waja tufanya hivi, tuelewane kitu moja. Nitakuwa na chukua zimio moja, Kenya kwanza moja. Ata arudia maratatu, sindiyo? Yes. Anafu daka zikuwe same. Yes. Siko sawa hapo? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, Honorable Members, Tutulie, Honorable Members, Honorable Members, Tutulie, Honorable Members, Tutulie. The Honorable Member here, Alisema, wakati tulikuwa tunajadili mambo ya Mount Kenya, Alisema, the house debated universally kila moja tulikuwa tunachangia bila kuangalia mrengo yako now that mr speaker unatuleta una kwa mrengo hatutaki mrengo hapa tunajadili mambo yenye inatuhusu Kenya kama wa Kenya mambo ya mrengo hii mrengo ile and we cannot we cannot purport to believe ya kwamba at the issue inafanyika Kenya hii hata kama ni serikali watu wa UDA wanaijua kutuliko there's nothing like that let each and every member be given a fair chance to debate whatever he feels she knows okay ngoja kwanza pea ule pea ule sura mge neighbor kona maone takauti wapunga mchambo jina na kaunti tafadhali kaleb anatoka kaunti ya kisi yes angalia media angalia media nitasikia mr speaker tafadhali awa wapunga wako hapa mbele sio peke yao kwa kwa hii nyumba yes you are just rotating hapa tu hapa tu wala wako pale unajuaje si yuti ama si asimio yes 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 tafatari mtu anaongea anarudia mara tatu okay mbunge oda kama ujainua mkono nita kupea aje mic nimeinua mkono mbaka nimechoka mbaka sasa nakata mkono kwa sababu because maja hako imefungwa sio imefika hapa kwa kamera i am not understand Jadara ya kwanza mtu anainua mkono pale hakuna kitu anaongea au wani huyu anarudia anaulisa same same question thank you sasa umesikia sasa tutaki maneno ya kurudia umesikia hiyo swali mzuri au haujasikia kuna kuna mtu akona swali kama kuna mtu akona swali leta maswali yenu hapo atujamaliza mr speaker mr mr speaker Mr. Speaker, with all the due respect, uh, I'm objecting the issue of at junior, 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 and uh, na na mudawake, the deputy speaker. Can you come? Can you come up for my intervention, please? Can you come up for my intervention? We we lay down, we lay down the procedure which is supposed to be taken, and the time timeline. The timeline is three minutes. Na mtu moja anapewa almost ten minutes. Then when we shall we move to another motion? Okay. So speaker to thanya hivi. Yenye mzee for the second time at least I'm agreeing with mzee. Let us discuss that issue which is on the floor. Yes. Mzee anakata hiyo ya kuleta mambo ingine yenye iko nje na yenye tunaongelea. 